Hi everybody, Cheryl in here. Welcome to Makeup University. And today we're coming from Pete's town. This is Pete. He's Pleco. He came home about this big five years ago. Ah! He is roughly the size of a wine bottle. Like if you look at it like that direction. <laughs> yeah, Pete. So, okay you guys, this video is uh it's a wine unboxing it is may birthday month woo, woo. my birthday is may 13th and my baby her birthday is may 19th and i would say easily i can count i know at least 12 people who have birthdays in may so if you back it up nine months it means summertime and the living easy okay you guys I received Mother's Day gift. My cub has sent me this puppy for Mother's Day and I can't even pick it up. This It's a case of wine plus two more and it's so huge and just because of shipping whatever uh, grandma helped cub get this ordered and so here it is. I'm just gonna bring it out for you and it came from the BevMo and word on the street is, and I had, uh, was it a year or two ago? I had received another two for one BevMo deal and this is a really good deal. So some of the BevMo wines, if you buy one, you get a second one for a nickel, which is a really good deal. So, okay, out of the bag came Cab Sab California Woodbridge by Robert Mondavi. So if you're familiar with the Woodbridge line this is a really great affordable wine and if you can't see me very well sorry i just wanted to give pete some camera time <laughs> glug, glug, glug. anywho so immature uh thank you um to my sweet love cub because mother's day is may 10th my birthday is the 13th basically i just party all month long <laughs> oh but quarantine life let's not even go there wine helps quarantine life so, and as you can tell, in quarantine life, you get your makeup on, but you don't necessarily do your hair. So, one, we got the Woodbridge. Two, we have the Stella Rosa. Gonna have to celebrate. <laughs> I like their celebrate. That's cute. This is the black, and I actually have two of these. Ha! And they come with a little coupon on there. But it's really weird. It says... Stella Rosa served chilled? What has Cub done to me? I have tried the Stella Peach, and it's really like a wine cooler, but it's really, really good. I love peach flavor. I don't necessarily like to eat a fresh peach unless it's kind of muddled into a cocktail because I don't like the texture of the skin, like the fuzzy skin and the flesh. I just, no, I love apples. Anywho, this is kind of cool because I would have never picked that and by the way, so I've got two of these. Why I would never pick this is because this is normally 15 to 17.99, so it's closer to $20. So I would just don't. <laughs> so I'm really glad to be trying this. I'm loving this screw cap. I love the detail on the bottle. Let me just look into this, and I will take you along as I sample and try. It's a product of Italy. And uh, you know what made me stop in my tracks? It says Stella Rosa Black, real fruit, natural, gluten-free, low alcohol. It's like, rrr, rrr, like row, row. But that's okay because that makes it more of like a brunchy sipper. Glug, glug, glug. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> that's my pee. He has a little bit of a pot belly right now. You can see right here. This is his zucchini. But he just had a shrimp. So, you know. Okay, then there is the Riscato, and this is the Rosa Dolce Sweet Red. Italia, Roscato, and I have two of these. Thank you! So, I'm excited about these. Let me see, are these low alcohol also? Palm Bay, Sulfite, ooh, 7%. Okay, that's okay, because you gotta have something for your Sunday brunch. Like after church, you can't be toying it up to 11. Now, the other thing I have, Chalice Lane Red Wine Blend, 2016 California. 
You guys, I do like a blend. I do. So this is full bodied red wine blend has aromas of fig, cherry, and vanilla. Ooh, followed with flavors of raspberry plum and roasted marshmallow. Okay, so it's just a party in a bottle. It says serve cellar temp. Okay, more on that later. I'm kind of got a, a cellar thing. You can't see it. I'll show you when I'm done. I was kind of got like a cellar thing I'm working on here. Anywho, Chalice Lane, and I think there are two. Uh, oh, the more I look in here, I think the. I think these are all buy one, get one. Yeah, that's so cool. Okay, two chalice, and these look good. So there's that. And actually, I'm kind of loving that two of these are screw cap because I just need to break down and get another really good, like, okay, for my own birthday gift, I need to get me another good heavy duty, like bartender quality wine opener because I'm still using the little travel one that I got in a hotel, I want to say 10 years ago. Anywho, ah, this is just a nice favorite. Cupcake, and this is, oh, it's a screw cup, ah, screw top. And red velvet is made up of grapes from some of the finest vineyards, California. Okay, um, I didn't know, I didn't know cupcake was a screw top. But anymore, I'm just kind of a fan. So, okay, got some cupcake. Then there is, oh, this looks cool. California, a state of wine. Boy, isn't that true? Boy, that's W-H-I-N-E as well as W-I-N-E right now. Locato. Locato. Cab Sav. Full body. Pair boldly and enjoy. 2018. Okay. So, Locator. At Locator Wines, we celebrate California's vineyards bounty. All right, nice, so up at Manteca. So this is just kind of cool, like a local, and it's got this kind, so that's okay. And now, got two locateurs, very nice. Kind of loving doing like um, smaller vineyards. You know what I wanna try, like as soon as we can, bing, move about the country, or at least the state. Uh, whenever I drive up to Malibu, I always take the canyon via Calabasas, and I'm usually on my way to Neptune's Net and surf and beach and just amazing. Two cool perks. When you take the canyon from Calabasas to Malibu, you go through like a little wine country, like a little mini wine country. And there's vineyards in there and they have tastings and it's just like on the to-do list. I want to go taste because I'll never forget the Paso Robles trip. Never. Okay, another cupcake. And then, ooh, okay, cool. This is Quinton Estates, California, Cab Sav, Quinton, hand select each wine, featured, distinguished, blah, blah, blah. We suggest pairing Cab Sav with grilled peppercorn steak. Ha, I'd eat that. And then slow cooked venison stew, yes please, or eggplant parmesan. So, okay, that looks cool. I'm guessing this other box, let me move the box. See, it was like this. It was like a case and I picked it up at the BevMo. So here in Burbank, you can't just go, like, go in there and cruise around, but you can go up to the door. There's an ordering shelf. Louis, the manager, uh, needs to see your order, your credit card, and then the name on the order, and then they bring it to you at the window. Okay. And then there was a case plus two and um, oh, I actually have three Chalice Lane. Okay, well, party time. Thank you, Chalice Lane. Thank you, uh, Mom and Cub, otherwise known as Grandma and Cub, because she helped him do the ordering in Arizona to California and I just went and picked it up. And there's one more I haven't showed you yet, which is really kind of the star of the show. Sa da da the Josh. I haven't had Josh in a really long time, though I went a long time without wine too because of the whole quarantine thing, you know, before you could go out. And then when I finally did go out, I just went down to, you know, the grocery outlet and picked up whatever I could for five bucks. So very excited to have all of these brands. And the Josh, I do remember really liking it. And you can see it's open. Woo! And I was out of wine and somebody was sending me photos that she was drinking the Josh. I was like, 
Oh, if only. So here's the thing. I love the story of the Josh Sellers. Right now in the crock pot, I have, I reduced a little bit of this with butter and garlic and a pinch of salt and pepper. And I have had a pot roast in there all day. I can hardly wait to eat it. Because I use it to deglaze the pan, get all those bits off, and then um, simmer it too. Then I'll make the gravy. And so we're gonna do a separate video. This has been a lot of talking. Look, here Pete. I don't know about your fish, but I sing and talk to Pete all the time. And I think he just likes the company. And for his size, like this is just total like fish talk. Oh, I love YouTube fish videos. Like there's some people here who have some major, major aquariums. And it's just a dream to have that huge of an aquarium for Pete. I want Pete to have an aquarium like when you go into the... Um, sea life uh, whether we've been to the ones in Texas California and Arizona and every sea life is basically the same and you first walk into like the river area P is basically a river fish and um, because of that size the voracious eating and pooping I get it why people are like I can't keep this animal and by the way average lifespan 15 years yeah 10 more to go but I just love them. And my story is that when you walk into sea life and you walk into the river area, there is like a four to five foot tall, um, eight foot long river sanctuary, river, what's the word I'm looking for? And um, when you look on the top of it, it's not much to see, but you're looking at all of this and the way that uh, exhibition is set up in the sea life is that you're seeing underneath the water what the riverbed would look like. I don't think I'm doing it justice describing it, but it's so beautiful and so peaceful, and I just want that for Pete. And um, he had a tank mate once, and it just didn't work out. So I don't know if I'm gonna get another tank mate or not. And I got totally sidetracked because We'll do a video on this. I think we should. That um, this is a little bit of Josh. See how thick it is? See how many spots are on my glass? This is not a commercial for um, Cascade. <laughs> Anywho, um, I like it when the wine is thick like this. Is there a technical term for that? Please educate me. I should talk to Sasha Vayner. Uh, I've been watching him on Instagram in the quarantine and every night the dude, and he's with Gary, and the family and every night he is cracking open a bottle of something amazing look at that look bye pete bye baby anywho I, I was thinking that i would do a video on the difference between this and like when we sip it and smell it oh my god it's so good i think that's like what they call the difference between full body i always call it thick and thin I have another bottle over there that um, I'm gonna do in the next video and it's super thin and it's not that it's bad. I just feel like it's a difference between eating like a quarter pounder or a double double. Oh, this video got long. Okay, so May birthday month is on fire and these are all my Mother's Day wines but I'm still accepting May birthday month wines too. So if there is something I should be sipping on, please let me know. Um, normally, I, I like a $10 bottle. Quarantine life and no work means I need a $5 bottle, which is kind of sad, but that's the truth and that's just where it's at. And I don't wanna get down be thinking about that. So I'm gonna sip on the Josh, get that pot roast out. I gotta let it rest a minute. And then I'm going to make a light gravy with all the drippings. And then I have some braised asparagus and I'm gonna eat that fabulous meal and um, drink some wine and have a show. Oh, speaking of show, uh, I didn't wanna start a new series. I'm thinking I'm gonna start Outlander. Do you watch Outlander? Should I be watching Outlander? I watch Schitt's Creek and uh, it ends at five. I know there is a series six left season six left in the series. Whoa, that's a tongue twister. And uh, it's not free, so I'm not buying it. And um, the show, I feel like one through three was so 
excellent and so tightly written. And then four and five, it just be, kind of became this loose caricature of the characters. Whew, good thing I have wine to discuss this. Okay, my friends, I hope this finds you doing awesome and amazing. If you're sipping on something, I'd love to know what it is. If you have a great recommendation and the $10 and under, like really under, I'd love to know that too. And if you've tried any of these wings, give me a heads up and let me know what I'm gonna expect when I open that sucker up. Hey, say bye to Pete. It's my Petey. I love to have um, final thought. I love to give him the uh, live plants but he always tears them up and eats them and uh, true story. Boy, this got long, sorry guys. I guess it just got rambly. Anywho, no joke, last year in Arizona, the Walmart always had this big fish display and had a really good display and really good fish and really great plants, all of them five bucks. Sometimes they were on sale, three bucks, a dollar, but really good plants. And so every week I could get him a plant or two, no big deal. But then they took them all out. Like they used to have a huge wall. They still have fish supplies, but they don't have live fish, live plants. One time here in California, I got live plants from the Petco and got snails. And still, it took months to get rid of the snails. And I just don't want them in there. I just, no, Pete's my, he's my baby. I don't want them in there. And then it took months to get rid of the snails. And even to this day, I still find one or two. How, how? Like the lice of the river. I don't know. I do like snails, I just not in my tank. Okay, you guys, I think this got really long, sorry. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University. And remember, you look really gorgeous today.